Hey everybody, uh, I thought I'd do a different video tonight about um, global warming. Um, everybody hears about it, probably most people like you are sick of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking good already. Uh, most people are sick of it, like me. Uh, you hear it all the fucking time, you know, they're just going on and on and on about global warming and CO2. Well, global warming, if you, you know, actually do some research, global warming is part of a natural phenomenon. And where Earth cycle in the, you know, the Earth is taken, at this point, you know, it's actually quite possible that global warming barely has anything to do with us. I mean, yes, we do contribute, and we do burn off the ozone layer and stuff to a point, but they're blowing it way out of proportion, in my opinion, and it's like this whole carbon tax on everything. It's just ridiculous. Like, you know, a friggin' carbon tax that's on CO2, you know, and they're worried about CO2 emissions. Well, they're also worried about the rainforest, at least I am, and, you know, trees are good, right? Well, what do trees thrive on? CO2. You know, they say, in, you know, back in history that in times of high CO2, which actually hot times of high temperature causes high CO2, so that's also a natural phenomenon, that, you know, plants thrived and there was actually, you know, plants growing in the friggin' Sahara Desert, you know. So how can, you know, our CO2 output all of a sudden be so detrimental, except to us? which to us it is more detrimental, you know, it makes it harder for us to breathe and yada yada, but we got to look at, in my opinion, what's important, you know, is the world we live in more important than, you know, society as a whole? I kind of think it is, really, but, you know, that's, that's a whole fucking other rant. But yeah, global warming, I think, like I said, it's a bunch of crap, like, they're feeding us all this bullshit propaganda, you know, sure scientists have said this and that, but a lot of it, you know, isn't what they say it is. Just look back at history, if you know any history, the times of like, you know, there's like the volcanoes back in the day, you know, when the world was way more geologically active that, you know, like Krakatoa and, like, some of these volcanoes went off for, like, you know, two weeks or two months or, you know, two years, you know, and there's some volcanoes around the world that are still going, but they're getting less and less because the world is cooling down. But back in the day, you know, what do you think the smoke they're spewing out is? You know, there's the, that's the raw stuff of the world, you know. It's the smoke, of, you know, it's mostly, I would probably say, sulfur and, you know, volcanic ash. But I don't know what volcanic ash is, per se. But at the same time, you know, it's going to burn up, you know, if there's gas or oil or whatever the fuck there is under the ground. If, you know, if the volcano's burning that up, well, of course it's going into the air. That doesn't happen as much as it used to. And, it, you know, it still does happen, but not nearly as much as it used to. So, you know, that's... It's just... I don't know. I, I think it's just a big scam in a way because you know it's not as bad as they say they are in my opinion yes we do do a bit and what we do isn't good but there's a lot more areas we should focus on like you know our water is much more important than our air at this point in my opinion and you know if you live in a smoggy area and you think well you don't know nothing I'm sorry but it does get actually quite smoggy here in Halifax even uh, during the summer, and it, it does suck, but that's the problem, you know, that's what you got to live with with modern technology. But, anyway, short little rant about global warming. I know probably a lot of people aren't going to agree with this, but this is my opinion, and if you don't like it, well, that's your own problem. You can offer your own opinion if you like, but, you know, it's up to you. Anyways, Anybody else, if you agree with me, feel free to comment or rate or, you know, even subscribe if you want. It's all good, man. Anyways, have a good night, everybody. Talk to you soon.